Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick video showing you how to move Power Apps between environments. And this is something that's essential to know as you're building apps in a business or for a client, as you don't wanna be editing the same app that your end users are using because you could potentially break stuff as you're making changes. So best practice is to have at least two environments, one for development where you're gonna make all your changes, and then when you're ready to push it out to end users, move it to your production environment. So in front of you, I have a really simple app that we're gonna be using today to move. All it does is adds two text fields to a SharePoint list and then runs a flow that sends an email. So before we go ahead and move our app, it's important that we go up and file and save, and then we click publish to make sure that we're moving over the most current version of our application with all the changes that we have made. So now that our app is published, we're going to go back and then leave the app. And now that we're looking at our apps, we can take a peek up here. We can see that we're in our default environment here and we want to move the app to production over here. And also note that we are not gonna be using a solution in this video. I will be making a video later on how to move applications with solutions. In this video, we're just going over how to import and export an application via a zip file. So now we're gonna go click on our app over on the left-hand side. Ours is just called test app and we're gonna click export package. And now we're on the export package screen. So we're just gonna give our zip file a name that we're gonna download. We'll say move to production. And you can see it'll note the environment that we're downloading from as well as a description if we wanna add one on there. So under review package content, this is where you're gonna see your app that you're moving as well as any associated flows and connections. So in our case, for import setup, we're not gonna do update. This is only if your app is already in the environment. Since we haven't moved it yet, we're gonna create as new, but next time you go to move it to update your app, you're gonna to wanna to click update. So we've selected create as new, we can click save on that. And down here, same thing with the flow. We just have a click a button in Power Apps to send an email flow attached to this app. We're gonna to wanna to click create as new and then click save. And our Office 365 Outlook connection we will set up on import. And this is looking pretty good, so we'll just click export. So now that we have our zip file, we can change environments up here in the top right. So now we're gonna to go to our production environment and we'll click on apps to the left. So to actually bring this app in, we're gonna click up here on import canvas app. And now it's gonna want that zip file, so we're just gonna click on upload and then select our zip file. So now this should take a little bit. You can see down here on the left, it's uploading our package. So now we're importing our application to our new environment. You can see test app over here is gonna be set to create as new. Uh, we can click on this little wrench to give it a new name. So we can say test app and then just put production and then save so it'll import with a new name. And on our flow, it's also set to create as new. But you can see we get a little bit of an error with this Office 365 Outlook connection. If we click on select during import, we can see that we have no selectable connection already in this environment. Anytime you move apps for the first time in an environment without a connection that's already existing, you're gonna have to go and create a new one uh, from here. So what we'll do is we'll click on create new. So now it'll open up our connections in this production environment. So we'll click create a connection. The connection we need is Office 365 Outlook, but you can select whatever you need. We'll just go ahead and click on that and then click Create. So now we can see that we have added our connection, so we can go back to our app import and click Refresh List. There's our connection and we can save that. So everything looks good to go, so we're gonna go ahead and click Import. And we can see that we've successfully imported this application, so it'll give you a prompt to go ahead and open that up, uh, but we're just gonna go back to Apps and then Refresh. So we've refreshed and we can see now that our test app production is here. So from here we could go on and share it out. Now one thing to note is that if we were updating the app, not creating a new one, what we'd wanna do is click on this. We'd wanna to go to details and then over here on versions and then we'd wanna click on the version and click publish um, as it's gonna come in and not automatically publish and overwrite with those changes. And in addition to this, if your app does have any flows, it's important to take note that they're always gonna import as off, even if you're updating an existing flow. So you're gonna to wanna to right away, not forget, click over here and then make sure that we do turn your flows right back on. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for anyone that needs to start moving their apps between environments. Again, this is one way to do this. The preferred way is to do this via solutions, which I'll be making a video out in the future, but for smaller, simpler projects that might only have one flow and one SharePoint site, sometimes this is an easier route to go. And again, that could all be based on your organization standards or depending on what type of client you're working with, but this is just showing you one way to do it. Thanks again so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.